Hello Guardians, welcome back. Today I want to discuss something that I don't normally do um, and that's talk about a bit of a sore subject in the community which is the state of Eververse. Now there's other videos out there but I've been doing a bit of chat and a bit of communication out there on Twitter to try and figure out what others feel as well as what I feel so because obviously my opinion could be completely different to someone else's so I want to start off with what's going on basically the community is in a toss-up between removing Eververse and uh, Tess, Tess Everest of course because she's the one that um, is in charge of Eververse and to change it slash correct it make some changes to it so it's better than what it is because quite frankly at the moment it does need a few changes in my opinion I've tried to get a bit of opinion from both sides because obviously my opinion is to just make a changes to it and make it better but there are people out there who believe it needs to be removed completely from the game uh, for different reasons which I will go into later on. Um, while doing this um, there has been some serious debates um, over Twitter from me and other people of course. Now. During this, it may be that I could have upset someone, if so, then I didn't mean to. I was just trying to delve into different sort of opinions, different perspectives, and uh, see what went on. Obviously, there was a few people that threw idiotic comments out there, um, like moron and stuff like that, but I'm not going to go into that because, well, that's the side of the community that I believe eventually ends up getting ignored. So, first off, I'm going to talk about what I think personally. Because obviously in my opinion um, it, it, it's easier to go into um, and that's the I all I need all I think Eververse needs is a few changes now it could be major changes or little changes I don't know because I'm not any sort of um, developer so basically the reason that I think it needs changes is because it's way too grindy for casual players at the moment uh, casual players have no chance of getting those exotics really from Eververse with only a few hours of play time a week you know, they might get one or two bright engrams a week if they're lucky, and that could be a problem because, well, quite frankly, now for over a week I have not got a single exotic. So that kind of shows that, that side of things why it needs changes there. I think they could do this by making a change by rewarding bright dust from certain activities. Now, this could be something as little as 10 bright dust from doing a public event. Because a matter of fact is, if you do 10 public events, they start to stack up. And that bright dust over the coming weeks starts to stack up. So, it's it's a way of that they could bring it in. They could just reward bright dust from activities, get more for the harder activities and less for the easier ones. And that way players have another way of trying to buy the stuff that they want, rather than just relying on total luck. And... This... And the, the other way I think it could work would be to bring in a quest line for Eververse each week, like there is with a Flashpoint, like there is with um, Strikes, like there is with pretty much everything else in the game. It's to do with a weekly reset, so why doesn't Eververse bring a quest in that you have to get from Tess every week and then you have to go out there and do something for it in order to gain an engram or s of rewards from her that have a higher chance at getting the exotics. This way people feel like they could join the game, play the game to get those exotics without it being behind a paywall which is a massive point from the community out there. Now the second idea which is what I quite like the idea of because I've played other games that has this sort of economy out there and that is to add an eververse marketplace where players can trade or even sell duplicate items that they get from Eververse and even other areas of the game, not just Eververse but this is what I mean, this is where it opens it up into a much more variety sort of scale and the way it would work is you put the item on this marketplace for other players to buy or trade and they could buy it and this would help people that uh, feel like they're collectionists and they need items um, and not only that, but since they've removed things like sparrows and ships from the collections in the vault so that you can't pull them back out, it also means you can get duplicates. And not only that, but it means people will want to collect them because of the simple fact that they can't just go and grab them out of the vault anymore. 
how would this work you might ask because what would the currency be obviously with a marketplace there has to be some form of currency well it could be anything there's three different forms of currency in this game at the moment you've got glimmer legendary shards or bright dust and any of them would work but personally i think bright dust would be the best for this sort of economy because it would mean that people could sell their unwanted co cosmetics from Eververse to buy the cosmetics that they do want, whether it's from Tess or from the Marketplace. Because obviously the Marketplace relies on other players having the item. Whereas if that item is on sale for, from Everest, Eververse sorry, that week, they can just buy it from there from themselves anyway. Secondly, I'm going to cover a few points on why people want Eververse to be removed. Now, if you ask me, the valid points, you know, they're not stupid, but I did have a hard time trying to find these points because a lot of people were defensive over the removal of Eververse by just giving me simple answers like, because it's stupid, um, it, the game's trash, and them aren't the sort of answers I'm looking for. Um, I want the answers that actually go into an explanation of a, a sensible idea behind why Eververse needs removing. So the main one that I found was because Eververse doesn't have a place in the story or the law of destiny. And I've looked into it and they are kind of right. Over the history of Destiny, including Destiny 1 and Destiny 2, she's not really had a place there. In Destiny 1 she came about to basically give people the limited time items for buying like or pre-ordering stuff for I think it was um quarter's end. But I'm not 100% sure about that, but that's what I think it was. So, for her to go away and then come back, it doesn't make much sense as to why she disappears. And not only that, but from when I looked into it, and I've read a bit of lore basically saying that Tess came from the stars. Now, what sort of lore is that? That's like an excuse to add something to the game rather than actual story. So basically Tess came out of the blue, she came out of nowhere, nobody knows where she's from. Now with every other character in the game there's at least some sort of lore as to where they came from and who they are. With Tess there isn't, so she's a bit of a black hole in the game. So because of this it ruins the overall vision of Destiny for certain players. It's like Destiny being a painting and Tess Everest is a massive smudge in a glorious painting. So that's what a lot of people are feeling on it and not only, and then the second point behind removing eververse is that there's items in it at the moment um, such like the exotic as the gray pigeon which could have been a great asset for being used as part of an exotic quest instead of being wasted on the eververse and just being part of a random look rng basis and also removing the option for further gameplay content in the future to do with Saint 14 because that ship just like the shotgun could have been part of a quest line in the future as part of collecting a set of items from Saint 14 so that is now been thrown out the window basically because of Eververse so if you ask me there are two valid points that I did find out there in the community um, overall this topic has been a bit of an explosion in the community to which i can't see how it will be resolved without upsetting someone and a lot of people if i'm honest uh, but personally i think they'll end up making changes to eververse but not removing it since they have stated in the past and more recently that eververse is their only way to keep revenue coming in to keep a constant content flow possible so basically, without Eververse, we probably really won't end up with a constant content change. It'll probably remain at the end of seasons. Now we're getting season 1, 2, 3, 4, they'll probably end up going away. And it'll probably mean the change to Iron Banner um, and faction rallies that's happened now won't happen in the future either if they remove Eververse. So that's why I can't see it being removed, but definitely changes to be made to it. Um, how do you guys feel about it? I know there's more opinions out there, so feel free to discuss them below and I'll take a look at them for a future video once changes are made to Eververse or even if it's removed because it's still a potential possibility. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button guys and thanks for watching Guardians and I'll see you out there.